Okay, I'll make this brief today. The idea of economy um, is a really amazing thing. The fact that people, um, you can decide to provide a good or service and within a short time, um, you, uh, you have people who want to buy it. But it's a strange thing that you can't get a person to do a thing unless they have some expectation of getting something out of it. Or, and, and rather, and there's the requirement that, that the receiver provide remuneration before they receive the good or service, or at a minimum, within a short period thereafter. But what if economy worked like nature works? What if farms were about food? What if machines were about getting something done? And you know, it, it wouldn't take much because all that would be needed would be to move, move the, um, move that time period, uh, move the giving forward a bit in the whole schedule of things. So give and give and give, and then assume that what you need will come. And of course, if someone else gives, then the likelihood is you'll be the recipient, but probably not from the person to whom you give. I don't think these are new ideas, and it's not really a um, public policy that I'm even suggesting. Um, it's more of a, uh, a personal policy. And uh, we're discovering that to some extent it works because we have now an economy with the uh, um, with the internet where people are learning that if they give graciously, that they can make a living off of the thank yous. You know, someone provides the incredible YouTube videos, you know, that are better, you know, I, I think of, you know, musicians, the, the videos are better than the songs, but they are able to make a living off of the 99 cent thank yous that people offer by downloading the video. That's interesting. I don't. I don't know that it's a philosophy or a a, a, a plan or um, a strategy. But but something has to change because. Otherwise, an ugliness enters in when food ceases to be about food, or when a farm ceases to be about food, when a machine or a tool ceases to be about helping mankind and begins to be about making a profit, then an ugliness, ugliness enters in but it's a hidden ugliness in our society. We sit down to a beautiful meal that came out of a package and we forget that someone, some old woman, stood in an assembly line as packages zoomed past and she tried frantically to fill each package fast enough. And that her body's getting old and it won't take it much longer. If you've ever worked, worked in production, you know that there's an ugliness 
when when we seek to scale and to have all of our doings be about profit. And I don't think that there's any public policy that can resolve it. But, gotta change arms. <laughs> but, for every person who decides to engage in an enterprise in which they do not expect to gain profit, but to do the right thing. That has the potential It has potential to change the way the world runs. I think that's all I have to say. If I look down, then I get shadows. That's what I wanted to share. God bless. <laughs>